you are here again. My friend. Did you say you are not a Muslim? Okay, that's good. Any Muslim who is bold, hello sir, are you a Muslim sir? Please come here sir. Okay, I'll come there, no problem. We are coming to you sir, we are coming to you. This baby. <laughs> No, no, don't worry. So, in regards to Islam, you, you follow Muhammad? Do you take Muhammad seriously? Yeah. How important is he in your Muslim walk? Very important. Very important. The most important. The most important. You'd like to have a beard like him, you'd like to walk around like him, you'd like to clean your hands and everything else like him and so on. Yeah? I try to, I try to. So, in other words, you need to know very much about Muhammad for you to live your Islamic life. Yeah? Correct. Good. So in that regard, one second, sir. No, no, please, one second. In that regard, may I ask you a simple question? What evidence, historical evidence, have you got for you to understand the person of Muhammad? I don't know. How? Oh, wait a second. This is a bit funny. You are very openly confessing. Can and you no, no, one second. No, 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 let's finish this. You're very openly confessing and you seem to know the importance of the fact that you as a Muslim need to know even how Muhammad washed his hands. Very in-depth details. You need to know. But then I'm asking you a simple question. What historical evidence you have? Only one question I've asked. And you're saying you don't know. Well, it's a bit sad, isn't it? No, well, there is historical evidence. Now, what evidence? I just don't know it. Well, but I'm asking you. Because yeah. you as a Muslim is supposed to follow him. You. Yeah. I'm not talking about Shamsi or some other Shamsi or whoever. You need to wash your hands like Muhammad did. Yeah. Apparently. And so you would need to know. Do you know any historical evidence? For? What you're asking. For Muhammad, I have historical evidence. Yeah. I can tell you there are two families. There are two. There are essentially when you explore history concerning this person of Muhammad, you will get to know at least two kinds of Muhammad. The Muhammad of later tradition is not the Muhammad that we find in history, earlier history. I'll give you a simple example. What is the most important event in Muhammad's life to even important enough for you even, for Muslims even, to calculate calendar years based on that event? What is that? No, I think there's loads of important events. Loads of important events, but, but Islamic calendar, what is that calibrated against? What is Islamic ca uh, calendar calibrated against? You tell me. Hijra. Okay. Hijra. You know that? Yeah. Islamic calendar is calibrated against the event of the Hijra of Muhammad. Supposed Hijra of the supposed Muhammad. Yeah. What's, what's your name? I'm Arul. 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 A-R-U-L. And you are? Uh, my name is Sean. Sean. Yeah. Good to see you, Sean. Do you know, I want to ask you a question. No, but, but, but Sean. Yes, no, no, we, before we get there, before we get there. I don't know much about on how to debate and stuff, so let me ask you a question. What's your purpose here in Hyde Park? What's My purpose is to speak to people like you who appear sensible, you know, in first level of asking questions, appear sensible <laughs> to challenge you okay. and to let you know yeah. that the religion you're following it's a religion of fabrication okay. and a religion of brainwashing. Okay. It does not provide you evidence. Okay, the I... moment you go to historical wait, 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 evidence... Wait, 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 wait. You know, me, as I am, as I'm confessing I'm a Muslim, am I campaigning for anything bad in society? That's not the question we are no, asking. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you the question. You, I don't... Islam, does Islam campaign for anything bad in society? Absolutely. All sorts of evil in society is from Islam. Okay. All sorts of evil. Have like you read what? Surah 9, like Ayah 29? Like Surah 9, Ayah 29? No, tell me. What does it say? Surah 9, Ayah 29 says, so fight against. You see? That's what Islam has made him to be. I, why, why answer, is my name? answer, answer. What's, what's okay, funny in that? Answer, that's your God. What's funny in that? Okay, answer. It's easy question. Saying. What's funny in that? Is Are you God? sure is that's what is funny is to you? Is this your God? Is that, is that what's funny that? to you? Okay, is this your God? Is that what's funny to you? I, I don't find because that. that's it. I'm oh, smiling. but you're smiling. I'm smiling. Is this your God? God? Because you're smiling. Oh, you can't. This seems like a typical Islamic joke. Oh. Not employing your brain. What's that got to do with Islam? Please read this. Please read this for me. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Let's read.
Well, I wish something was in his something was in his cavity there. A brain that works, please. Please read this for me. What do you want to read? Uh, Ayah 29, Surah 9, Ayah 29. Why those who do not believe in Allah in the last day will comply with what Allah will give us? Okay. So you ask me if Islam propagates any evil in society. Yeah. What is that? So fight those who do not believe in Allah. I don't believe what, in your. What does what does fight mean? Sure. No. 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 What does fight, what does fight mean? I'll tell you. I'll tell you that before. Fight, intellectual I'll, fight. Well, what fight is what fight is being advocated in the Quran? Because the way you are acting now. What, what fight is advocated? What fight is advocated in the Quran? What fight is advocated in the Quran? Please read. I don't know. Uh, because I don't know the context of that verse. Okay, well, you don't even need to know the context of the verse. You just need to read the verse properly first. Your wife. Fight. The of the Wait, please. That's good. That's good. Listen to what I said. That's a good point. That's a good point. What, what did you say? You know why? You know why? I answered already. Listen to my full statement before you respond. Okay? I, I can repeat my previous statement. Basically, you don't even need to know the context properly. You don't need to know Just the read this verse. The verse in itself will give you the context. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please stay away. Thank you. Okay. He just preaches. He's an idiot. Trust me. How good. Did you ask a question to me? Yeah, I did. And am I trying to answer? Yeah, Clearly, he doesn't okay. even know his general knowledge. Oh, please said, move on. He said, "Is that what I said?" You did not listen to my full statement. You don't even need. Excuse me, sir. I'm speaking to them, sir. You don't even need to know. Please listen to me again. You do not even need to know the context for this particular verse because. The verse itself would clarify because the question he asked was. I asked you, what does fight mean? Exactly, the verse itself would clarify. The verse itself would clarify. I'll show. Please read. Please read. Please, please read this. Please read this. Fight those who do not believe in Allah. Please listen. And the last day, nor comply with what Allah and His Messenger have for, have forbidden. Please listen. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Please, 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 please listen. I'm addressing your previous concern. I'm addressing your previous concern. No, I'm addressing your previous concern. I'd like. I'd like. If I say, for example, I need to fight the system. Go on. If I say we need, we need to fight the system against racism, exactly. yeah. what does fight mean in my... You've asked the question already, I'm answering. And my answer is, if you read this verse properly, you would understand already. I don't have to interpret right, let, that let, for you. Together. Exactly. Fight those who do not believe in Allah and the last day, nor comply with what Allah and His Messenger have forbidden, nor embrace the religion of okay, truth. So logically, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. wait. I haven't even finished. I'm the question. I haven't even re finished so reading no the verse. Knowledge. I have no knowledge, so I'm asking you. you I, I have, but if you if want say, knowledge, let me say, finish reading first. Wait, Please let me finish. No, because we're asking together. We're going through go together. On. You're my teacher now. All right, go yeah. on. So in this verse, you're my teacher. Good. Yes. So this says, fight, fight those. Fight, fight those who do not believe in Allah. So who is it commanding to fight? I, if you wait and listen, you'll get all the answers. Okay, okay. So are you my teacher in this verse? Yes. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not your teacher. It's an English statement. I'm, you're speaking, so, so you don't you're speaking to... much better English than me, so you can listen. Wait, 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 wait. So are you, do, you, do you have authority to teach me this verse? Excuse me, sir. It's a simple English statement. You understand English as much as I do. You understand English as much as I do. I do understand English. Okay, if that is the case, please listen. Please listen. But did I ask you a good question? There we go. <laughs> Your silly nonsense has begun. I thought you are a reasoning person. Now I have reasons to think that is no longer the case. So then we should terminate the conversation. Well, that appears to be what should be the best course of action now. If a person stands here, would not even let the person who has a, a view against what he has just said finish his point i do not think he's going to have a good conversation with me what do you think can you teach me this verse well wait listen wait listen i can i can show you
God. I've answered you multiple times. Your own brother, younger than you, appear, uh, by appearance, is telling you to listen. He just identified the There we go. Please listen, sir. Please listen, sir. Nor embrace the religion of truth from among those who were given the scripture until what is the fight you are supposed to do whatever it takes until they pay the tax jizya willingly submitting fully humbled How? well that is a do you know arabic no. could you read arabic no. that is the very word word here there but where is it jizya well, Okay, there we go. Just Muslim rulers refunded the jizya. Read this. Read this footnote. Where does it say jizya in that verse? This is the footnote you you have. Can you read that? Is that footnote depending on interpretation? Can you read this, sir? No. Okay, there we go. Can you read? So my point simply is, Muslims have been commanded to what to do whatever it takes to make me. You ask who? clearly tells you who do not believe in the Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah I don't do not believe in Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah and the last day according to your definition according to the Quran definition excuse me sir I didn't ask you any question nor comply nor comply with what the Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah and his messenger again who don't well this Allah who doesn't exist is Mickey Mouse Allah to me his messenger forbidden so I don't take these things seriously and so to you you are supposed to do something according to this verse no 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 please please nor embrace what is this religion of truth if you don't take it seriously why are you telling me what am I not taking seriously you just said you don't take it seriously did you say that yes or no I said this Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah I don't take seriously because it doesn't exist why are you telling me I take the statements. If it's, not, if it's not a serious thing to you, are you, uh, are you for real, Sean? Why are we talking? No, no, Sean. Are you for real? Yeah. Do you work somewhere? Yeah. Do you get paid for your work? Yeah. Do you do your business or something? What What is going on? You don't seem to be able to make sense for five minutes. What's going on? I'm learning. Excuse me, sir. You don't. No, I'm not. I'm not interested in your silly arguments now. You don't seem to be, Sean. This is an honest point to you. Yeah, I know. I'm you appear to, you. to be a sensible man who can really make sense. But in the last three, four minutes, you are engaging in childish nonsense. I want no, no, by saying, by interjecting me multiple times, when I've clearly told you, when I've clearly told you, it only takes for you to read this statement and if you want the footnote if you want okay, one, second, one second my friend one second you already read what it. don't you, you understand answer, yeah? this one what second, don't you understand second. this you already read it i i i tell you the answer tell what you don't you understand this no no what don't you understand what this? do you want i said i'm an educated person but can you speak english what don't you understand this you want the answer or no what don't you understand this well but 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 do you do you understand this this verse is more than just one word. Do you understand that? Have you read the rest of the verse? No, because I don't know Arabic. No, no, in English. What's wrong with this English? What, so, are you saying this is an inaccurate translation? It might be. So, so, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. No, no, wait, wait. There we go. No, no, wait, wait. How is he a Muslim if he can't read the English and if he doesn't know Arabic? How? What's going on? Please go. On. Yep. Yep. What's that? This verse saying five dollars, you do not believe in Allah. Yeah. The last day, go comply with Allah and His Messenger. Forbidden, no embrace the truth. This verse that you're talking about over here, what do you yourself make out from this verse? Well, I've told you clearly. It is asking people to fight. What is the kind of fight? We will get clarification on. Who is it? Uh, who? Who? Uh, clearly, it, it is admonishing Muslims. So it's given to you as an advice, as an instruction. It's given to me, and not the people. Well, is the Quran for all times or not? No, 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 no. Wait a second. Is the Quran for all times or not? Okay, God. Certain verses revealed for certain times. Now you need to give me the evidence that this verse is directed to me. No, tell me. You need to give. You are giving me. You have to give me evidence. You are making the claim. You have to give me the evidence that this verse is directed to me. What's your name? Saif, good to see you. I'm Arul. Good to see you, Saif. You were telling me, you're, you're, you're mentioning something up to me 
about Islam, which is weird to me. You are telling me that some verses in the Quran were for appropriate times, some specific times. Where do you get that idea from? From the scholars. Where? Which one? Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir says some verses in the Quran is for only some times? No, he says certain verses, if you look at the historic context of certain verses, you will see that they are for certain times. Like which one? I'll tell you, can I, can I ask you? I'll speak to you. Allah says to the people, don't raise your voice. So what is that for? Is that for now? Are you speaking to me? I am speaking to them. If you don't mind, please. So, do you believe in the caliphate, Islamic caliphate? Do you believe in an Islamic caliphate, Saif? Do you believe in an Islamic caliphate? I just want to get touch upon that point. Do you believe, Saif? Do you believe in an Islamic caliphate? And is that the paradise that you would like to see? Paradise? Right, no, not the literal paradise. Is that is that a wonderful situation, ideal situation for the existence of all human beings in your view? Yes. I think we would flourish this time. Good. For for the for the Islamic caliphate to come in, what needs to happen before that, according to Islam? How is Islam going to conquer the world? I'm not so sure. You, you tell well, you tell me. You tell me. Because you think you think some verses are for sometimes. I'd like to know. I just I know I'd, I'd like to know from you what your view on the caliphate is. I think it's a good thing. I think, I think it's first. But I, 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 I hear you say it's a good thing. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. How exactly is Islam planning to establish a caliphate? I don't, see, I don't see the point. Well, it's a point. If that is your what ideal, is with the if no, this has everything to do. You know, you need to interpret whatever you have in light of what you understand to be the substance of your religion, the ultimate destiny apart from paradise, prior to paradise, the ultimate destiny on earth to which you would like to get to is the caliphate. Is the caliphate. And so everything that you understand from the Quran needs to be understood in the context of the caliphate. Yeah, of course, if that's the ideal place you want to get to, if that's the ideal situation you want to get to, you would need to understand everything with that as the context. Yeah. So my question is, how according to Islam are you going to get a caliphate? I don't see how this is a response to the question asking. Well, it is. If you stick to my question, you will see. Quickly, in two minutes, you will see where, why I am asking this question. How? Can you repeat it? How exactly, how exactly do you think, how exactly, how exactly, how exactly how exactly do you think Islam is going to establish a caliphate? My friend, he asked, yeah, the verse he revealed, he made a good point. How do you know that's for our times, not for back then? He said the Quran is for all times. Good point. Any point? He said there's no context Say, back in the past. Intelligent man. There's a Quran verse where it says, How Islam plans to have a caliphate? Because he's passed away, right? So it's for back then. He's not answering the question. People become Muslims. Is that how Muhammad wanted to establish a caliphate? You tell me. Well, you tell me. I just told you. Okay, so okay, I'll give you the answer. All the answer that you've been, the answer. Well, I might ask. Yeah, well, I know better the better about the religion than what you know. Okay, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Islam has always wanted a caliphate, not just now, beginning with Muhammad's time. So when does it All, please listen, Shane. Islam has always wanted a caliphate. What began? with Muhammad, the supposed Muhammad. No one is giving me evidence for his existence so far, but the supposed Muhammad, what he began doing is to establish that caliphate. The followers of Muhammad, the successors of Muhammad, the caliphs, the first caliphs of the Rashidun Caliphate, Rashidun Caliphate. Again, no evidence for the existence, but the claim is Rashidun Caliphate also wanted to one also want also wanted to establish also wanted to establish the same caliphate you know what's a Umayyad caliphate also don't touch me please don't touch me stay away stay away employ your brain or else stay away you believe in an expired deed man all right so Umayyad Caliphate also wanted to establish the same Caliphate. Abbasid Caliphate also wanted to establish the same Caliphate. So right throughout history, 
the attempt to establish the caliphate has never ceased. Yeah. So, how did Muhammad want to establish the caliphate? Say, Go say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before I slap you. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Say you on record. You. Excuse me, Shut sir. Shut the fuck up. Stay away. Say sallallahu away. alayhi wa sallam before Stay. I slap you. Okay, yes. Don't disrespect the prophet. You're Excuse Christian. me. You're Stay Christian. away. Disrespect Stay our. away. Fuck up, man. Push you, man. Don't disrespect the prophet. Stay away. Take that mentally ill person away. The ma what is there for? What is funny in that? Anything funny in that? What would you do to your fellow Muslim? Man? You haven't said anything to him. Stay. What, what do you think about that behavior? No, no, what do you think about this behavior? What do you think about this? Don't touch me. You don't have shape. Stay away. Or else you will be in prison. Excuse me. Stay away, he said. Clearly your mind hasn't worked for a long time. Stay away. Thank you. Stay away. Stay away from civilization, sir. You do not belong here. Section him. Put him. Put him. Put him in a mental asylum. What's funny in that? What's funny in that? What's funny in that? Anything funny in that? Just to recap. We're speaking the truth, darling. Keep going. Sure. The angels are surrounding us. Listen to this. Can you eat expired chocolate? Don't worry, alright? How so can you eat expired dinner? What are you going to tell him about his behavior? What are you going to tell him? Our dinner is expired a thousand five hundred years ago, bro. So clearly, clearly, you. So you want to know what Islam? You want to know what evil Islam has done to the society? Excuse me, Shane. You should you should be ashamed of yourself. You asked earlier, what evil does Islam do to our society? This is precisely the evil Islam has done to our society. There is a mentally ill man shouting at me, and you are friends with him. You see what Islam has done to you? Do you see what Islam has done to you? Why were you laughing earlier? What was funny about earlier? You. What was? Excuse me. What was funny about what was happening here earlier? What was funny about? Ask you. Excuse me. I'm asking you a question. I do what I want to do, sir. I'm asking you a simple question. What was funny in what was happening earlier? Finish Anything funny? Finish the conversation. Anything funny? Can, carry on Can I please tell you, sir? I have. You are an evidence, and you are an evidence, and Shane, you included. You are evidence of the fact that I do do not touch me. Stay away. You are. You are evidence for. Excuse me for my assessment that there is no sensible Muslim. What was funny in what he was doing? What was funny? Well, is he your friend? Were you speaking to him? Muslim brother. How do you, do you, do you like what he was doing earlier? I told him to calm down. No, no, but do you like what he was doing earlier? Ah, oh, I speak about Muhammad as just Muhammad. He says, I am insulting his God. Excuse me, sir. Muhammad is just Muhammad. Does he have any other name? Yo, yo, yo. Don't say Muhammad straight. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Excuse me. Stay away. I am calling the police right now. Stay away. Fuck off. You are the police. You think we care? Fuck the feds and you. Who is the we here? Let me see who is running now. You are the weak. I spit in your face and the I said we, not weak. You can't even hear properly. All right. Let me see you run now. Go move from here, man. Move. Hello, hello, madam. Uh, I am at speaker's corner. Uh, the police, please. Bro, I just asked one question. Thank one you. simple question. He couldn't finish the conversation. He couldn't finish the conversation. For you, a bad cow. Not for you, not for you. Don't worry. Next, next, next one. Hello, sir. I am speaking from speaker's corner at the no moment. No I am a Christian preacher. I am preaching. And someone, someone is trying to threaten me, sir, at the park. Uh, speaker's corner. That's right, yeah. Uh, someone is actively threatening me, sir, for just calling Muhammad Muhammad. 
he is trying to threaten me. And I asked him to stay away and move away. He isn't. Uh, he isn't uh, taking that on board, sir. Yeah, I, I, I am a, I am a Christian preacher trying to speak to people, sir. And he says he'll stab me to death if I was in a Muslim. Uh, he is on record. Uh, he looks um, uh, Middle Eastern with uh, curly hair, and um, he um, he is on camera, sir. So we have a recording of him. Show. Uh, sorry, come again, sir. Uh, no weapons that I've seen so far. There's one guy, and uh, one guy is the active uh, person who's threatening. There are others who are sort of supporting him, uh, but uh, one active uh, person. Age maybe 20 odd. A black, black clothing, black hoodie, black jacket. Uh, sorry, come again, sir. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm I'm with other people also here. Um, a few people. I mean, um, we we are friends here, but not together uh, physically. But uh, I have I have few friends here. At the bar. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, you are supposed to look into it, the police. Who's the report yeah. to? The police. The, the, the there's there's 36,000 of us. Can you give me a little bit more specific? Was it officers here? Were they here already, present? It was, was it called 101? Yeah, he was at outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. your report here? Sorry, he was standing here until a couple of minutes ago. Okay. these people listening to what I'm talking to you about because you obviously go through your details, your name, address and so on. So anyone that comes up here with a camera will be will be pushed away, sure. physically pushed away. You're trying to deal with, uh, didn't we, we've been called here to deal with a... So it's up with you and your rights to, if, uh, if you can have people surround you, it's up to you, but quite frankly, I don't see any right, they've got no right to stand here and listen to your personal information. Uh, they? Which oh, ones? No, anyone, anyone. So if I'm trying, like I'm speaking to you now, normally when we really try and speak to someone, to get them to come over to the van, somewhere a bit more, that we can talk privately like this, we can discuss at a level like this, sure. and then it will shine and yeah, you can see the Wally there with his uh, camera out. 
because he got nothing better to do. Some people get involved and, be, and discuss other matters. And if I'm, you're trying to give me your details, it makes it yeah, quite hard. Um, we've just seen and we were told to give the police the cab number so that we could be dealt with because he actually didn't give it to him like, last time we here, he followed us um, and he kept on hecking and assaulting me and he's been doing it for literally uh, the year I've been here he's been assaulting me but he actually followed us and he pushed us and he's here right now, he's wearing the blue Right, so I'll take some details from you. Yes. Actually, I thought I normally wouldn't even stop doing what I'm doing. Uh, but I genuinely thought, well, this guy might have a knife. I, I don't know what he would do and so on. I genuinely thought that anything could happen at that place. Um, and that's why I even called the police. My wife, I normally tell my wife, I normally tell my wife, I'd really like to pursue uh, on, uh, I'd like to call it a threat. Yeah. Um, I shall record it as a threat. Yeah. yeah. Public yeah. order, I'll put it down as public order. Threat of violence, section threat 5. Threat of violence, yeah. Yeah, yeah threat section of violence. Five, public is, order. Okay, cool. Right. So, yeah, Shall that's we have a walk through again? Yes, please. Yes, please, yeah. Sure. What should I do, City? City, if you can hold this. Should and I come that to is the our. Thing? No, you stay here. Okay. What uh, happened to Garcia? Nothing, City. Okay. Just some silly guy trying threatening us. And, uh, <coughs> the tripod is ours. Okay. Can you please maybe take it? Sure. <coughs> no, no, that's fine. I'm just trying to. Would you stay here with yeah. Uh, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Sure. So I report that as a Section 5 public order. Sure, sir. If the guy's here, I can. Yeah. Be willing, if we do get hold of him, would you be willing to make an allegation and provide a statement? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'll speak to you later, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay. So now I'm asking my last question. My last question is... He's still looking for him. He's still looking for him, bro. He's gone. He went, he went back. Hey. 
so he's here. Let's go. Pleasant company. Yeah. Is it? Hello, yeah. boss. How are you? Yes, boss. All right. I'm good, man. How are you? Good. Catch you. Right. Chat with you. Yeah. 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 Let's have yeah, a word, let's have a word. Thank you very Hi, bro, on the fence. Why you call the police? Make sure you don't lie, bro. Make sure you don't lie, bro. Lying's haram. Lying's a sin, bro. It's a sin, bro. <laughs> Make sure, bro. You know that, bro. Where is the police car, man? He's sweating, he's sweating. Are you smelling? It's the police, eh? He's sweating, he's sweating. <laughs> Drama queen. Hey, stop shaking, stop shaking. Yeah, like, guys, it's hurting me. Tell them, boy. To you? What, what should I do? He's tired to? now, I think. <laughs> okay. That's why. He's charging. What, what is there to smile about in this? What's that? You try to you try to tip him off. It didn't work. You, I saw you trying to tip him off. It didn't work. And now you're trying to be friendly yeah, with me. No with that. <coughs> no you tip him off. Is you our enemy? Do you study here? Do you know how to? Do you know manners? What, what do you know about manners? Can you go and threaten someone? Is that is that okay? Is that sensible behavior? You disrespect someone's religion? No, 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 no. I'm asking a simple question. Okay, you may have all sorts of ideas in your mind. You may want your caliphate. This is not your caliphate. Here we have law slowly, and order. Slowly, slowly. It's coming, it's coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. Slowly, slowly. going to be here. Don't worry. You are a young we'll man. We'll drive you out of here. You are a young <laughs> man. We're going to go back to your country. Yes, you yes. need to think about this carefully. Yes. You want to... Let me you get have a chance. To, you <laughs> have to think about what kind <laughs> of work. Oh, so we'll have to get a chance. <laughs> you want to think you about... You the floor, right? <laughs> the second... The second... The second... The second... The Bro, you're 60 and you're yelling, man. It's not good for your lungs. I mean, listen, honestly, though, what's your... <laughs> you 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 let's talk about no. religion. Brother, so what do you believe about Islam? What do you think about Islam? That's, that's what happened. That's what happened against the caliphate. No, like, do you believe, do you believe Jesus was God? Yo, mate. Yes, sir. Um, we just had a chat with him. Yeah. Um, he's quite happy, even though he doesn't think that he's done anything wrong, to apologise to you. Um, I mean... <laughs> Do you want to come over and accept an apology? I don't want an apology from me. He, he was threatening me. Okay. That's crime. I, I don't know. I was, I was, yeah, it was a threat to me. Okay. okay. So, uh, I've got, well, I've got to give you that option. He, he's, he's, he's agreed to make an apology. He's, he's basically turned around and said, like, it was never going to be um, an actual friend. It was just, it was just the words that came out at the time. So, yeah. I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Party, but you don't accept it, that's fine, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't I mean, personally, I don't, you know, apart from the fact that he threatened me, yeah. I don't have any problem with him. So well, he doesn't have to apologize. But no, 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 he, he's the exact same frame as my idea. He doesn't believe he's done anything wrong, but he's willing to apologize for what actually came out of his mouth. It's not a matter of what came out of his mouth, sir. This is where I showed uh, your colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, but he... It was, it was, it was I know, a proper, I know. And, yeah. and he said, yeah, that's fine. But it was never going to be like. But I'm, how, how, how I know, would I know, I know, I know. I mean, he can say anything he wants. And that's what he wants to apologise if he felt like that. It because, was, like, where, where the report will go on, where do you want it to go? He's off, he's off. I, I'd, I'd like to essentially do what is needed legally, sir, in this. What he did was an actual, it was threatening to me. I felt the threat at that time, and I want that to be. 
pursue. Okay, I can understand. Yeah. 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 So what do you expect if someone threats you? What do you expect? You want the police to what? I'm not speaking to you. Are you scared? Yeah. Are, you scared? Are, you scared? Are you scared for your life? <laughs> if you're scared for your life, you know what the police is going to say to you? If you're scared for your life, you don't come here. Chalo, bye. That's what's going to happen. You guys have kids. Are you, are you scared? Yeah? Please, don't touch me. please don't touch me. Are you fear for your life? Please don't touch me. Stay away. Please don't touch me. I didn't touch you. He's a little kid. What's going on? If I touch you. Oh, you're fine. Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, 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 he's back. Oh, 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 you're fine. Hey, oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Oh, Help him. There was one guy uh, who was uh, hey, give him, threatening. Give him, give him. Brother, hug him, please. This is no give, give him a hug. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. 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 Wait, hug him, man. Get, get him. Uh, give him a hug, please. Give him a hug. Give him one hug. He needs it. Brother, give him a hug. I'll give you a hug, bro. Show him some love, man. He needs more than a hug. <coughs> give him a hug. I'll give, give you a hug. hug. Yeah, yeah, give him you a look, hug. he's shaking. Look, he's crying, man. Yeah. Give him a hug. Tissue yeah. is out. Yeah. His eyes are worried. I don't know what he needs. He's sad. He's upset. Huh? He's upset. He's upset. Because he's a little kid. Why is he upset? Why is he? He's this big. Good friends. Why is he upset? Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Why is he upset? Why are you upset? Yes. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. You give him a hug. Later, give him a hug. I just had a good chat, little chat with him. I appreciate, obviously, the thing. The issue for me, obviously, on the, on the footage, he said, if you do this, not I'm going to hit you or I'm going to think. I've got him here, he's quite willing to apologise, and we've agreed, obviously, that his behaviour in this area, maybe his wording wasn't quite correct, and he wishes to apologise for that, he accepts that. Would you be willing for him to apologise to you and we deal with that way, or would you, do you wish me to carry on? I can do it with, I can report him for a Section 5 public order offence. We can do it by community resolution, at which time he would have mm -hmm. So he'd have to do apologise to you anyway, so you could do it now. It saves me a load of paperwork, and obviously it's dealt with now and here and finished. I've still put a report on. Is, is that something that you'd be willing to do, or would you, what, what do you want me to do? What do to do? I won't be arresting him, because there's no, there's no threat. Pace code G does not apply in this case. So I would summon him by way of, I do a, a, a community resolution, so I'll take his details, show him as a named suspect, crime report goes on, it gets wiped away, doesn't get investigated, it's all dealt with here, because I've got him here, I've got you here. So in effect, he'd be apologising to you, he'd admit it, yes, I'm very sorry.